Hello everybody and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. I'm your host Phoenix and today I am joined with my good old friend Sage with I think after this they're not really gonna be considering me a friend but like it, it, to me they're my friend. <laughs> oh yeah I, I, I think I'm, I'm gonna your jump out the window. <laughs> no! Phoenix. What? Phoenix you're making me want to jump out a window already. I didn't do anything. I'm staring at this book and I want to die. <laughs> Damn. That's so mean, bro. It's not my fault the wheel chose it. I think you rigged the wheel. We might need to spin again. <laughs> what is this, the fucking presidential election? I didn't rig shit around here. <laughs> well, you are American. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you right. <laughs> yeah, you, you right. No, I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, th we were at a... a a great Husker Dust fan fiction that made us take it off the wheel so much. <laughs> we loved it so much we took it off the wheel. And uh, uh, the wheel was spun and it landed on my favorite boy and Sage's least favorite boy. Uh, <laughs> we got Vox in the fucking house and look how beautiful of the cover art it is on here. Just immaculate chef's kiss, you know? I want to serve his head on a platter. <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> hey, bro, at least, bro, you can watch anything on his head. I don't- uh, Phoenix. <laughs> I'm worried that I'm gonna have to deal with you barking. <laughs> I will- I- I- I solemnly swear I will refrain as much as I can from being down bad this episode, okay? You okay, have so my that... word. Uh, no All right. promise. <laughs> so that means no barking, no meowing, no uh, going, Oh my god, he's so fine. I want to get this man. I don't know if I can promise all that. I said I'll refrain myself and not do the impossible. <laughs> okay, so I want to apologize to anybody watching right now. Damn. Here, here. I'll, I'll because... pinky promise you right now. I'll, I'll nubble it on her, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the nublet, the nublet shake. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The description of this reads: It says it's ongoing. Which, which when was this last updated? Oh, two days ago. Awesome. We're in for a treat then. Yay. <laughs> that sounded so depressed, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> no, uh, I'm actually so happy right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I'm just imagining you saying that and just remembering that the, like, Adam's episode of him dying just got uploaded today. <laughs> so you're just like, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm loving life. My man's dead. And now I'm reading about your man and I'm going to have you barking at me down the, like, <laughs> the other side of the world. It's fine. Yeah, you're like staring off in your computer. You're like, do you think God stays in heaven because he too is afraid of what he's created? <laughs> <laughs> do you think he tried to drown the species out because of this exact reason? Well, yeah, he saw me in the future. He's like, I, we gotta stop this shit now. We, we gotta, we gotta hold this shit. <laughs> yeah, right. there was an error on like the conveyor belt, and then you just popped yeah. out, and he was like, oh shit. Thanks. I'm glad I'm God's silly <laughs> little creature. <laughs> and God's little mistake. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> and we're talking about my favorite TV man. It's called Your Star, and it reads, and I quote, As one of Velvet's designers, YN seems to never seems to catch a moment of peace. However, desperately needing the money, she has no choice but to dedicate her whole afterlife to their work. Things take a turn with Vox, who she presume she knows- wait- whom she knows as a respected overlord and CEO of his own tech enterprise offers her the opportunity to work as a designer under his company as well. Oh, damn. We, damn. We're owned by two overlords? We, we <laughs> oh, fucking no. suck at this afterlife thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, Phoenix, by the way. No magpieing for your fanfiction. <laughs> what the fuck is magpie? <laughs> I literally said magpie last week, I think. Didn't what I? And I explained what a magpie was to you. You're gonna you have to tell like... me again. <laughs> right, so it's a bird that steals shiny things, and magpieing is a phrase that you use when you want to steal an idea. Oh. Oh! I won't do that. Yeah. 
Magpie. I thought you were... I don't know where I was thinking about that. <laughs> what? Having, having accepted his offer, she quickly finds herself struggling to maintain her job for Velvet, all while putting up with endless tasks with the box assigning her with. As she adjusts to all these new changes, she develops a strong hatred for her new boss's guts, as well as his egotistical attitude, one of which will become an obsession. You, you, can, uh, you can obsess over me anytime, Vox. It's, it's all good. Phoenix, <laughs> I welcome it. <laughs> we are on the description. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we we decided what our our name should be, and when it doesn't show for some reason on the uh, the cover and whatnot, but our name is Nublet. <laughs> yeah, the best name ever. And uh, as, as, if anything else gets added, we will change accordingly. So if fucking hair color, eye color. Lack of bitches comes up. We will change it accordingly, and improvise on the spot. <laughs> we can make our very own nublet, and yeah. you will put respect on nublet's name. <laughs> you better show some respect. <laughs> Check your behavior. No one speaks to nublet that way. <laughs> 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 All right. Do you want to be heads or tails to read first? <clears throat> Uh, Tails. Alright. It's heads! I get to read first! Oh my god! Alright. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what do you mean, oh shit? You see me, like, the one time. <laughs> the one time I want to read first because you're gonna be damn bad. Yeah, this is gonna... This is gonna take forever. If... <laughs> Alright. <laughs> the, the chapter one is just called One. Very, very cool. Beautiful. D Preemptively, since Velvet is confirmed British, for all of her lines, do you want to read them? Because that way it's more authentic, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> you sound so excited about that. Yeah, you're just like, you know what, there's a British person in here, so therefore it is now your, like, yeah. duty to be that person. Yeah, this is this is your people. You need to read for it. <laughs> Okay, I suppose Velvet is one of us, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess. Um, <laughs> I must bring justice. The chaotic sound of honking and screaming filled my ears as I dragged myself down the sidewalk of hell. It's a day like any other, but that doesn't make it a good one by any means. Demons fill the streets, some talking surprisingly... S talking surprisingly civilly, others exchanging punches to the face. Though, I try to ignore that unpleasant sight. The afterlife is shitty, at, at least if you're stuck in hell. There's nothing to do but, but get over it. Though, I can't say I'm the happiest soul to be on my way to work at the moment. It's not that I don't enjoy what I do. It's more of the stress that I feel because of it. Money has always been a problem for me, and if I don't want to end up sleeping on the streets alongside some l lunatics, I just have to suck it up. I never wanted to... I never wanted it to become this big of an issue, but who would? Like I said, hell is shitty. Hell is forever, whether you like it or not. <laughs> Adam reference, oh my god! Yeah, there you go, there's your man. Got you. I, I, I look out for- Nublet looks after their people. <laughs> Nublet is one of the Adam family. Yeah. Nublet is part of the Adam family. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam family. <laughs> I step through the automatic doors of the V's headquarters and go to my office. As I set my bag down on my desk, I peer inside to rummage through it. I pull out some files and sit down to get a closer look. My eyes skimming the paperwork had grown a bit in frustration. Somehow I managed to forget the deadline for submitting the new clothing design tomorrow. Damn, we're gonna get murdered by Velvet. <laughs> 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 With Velvet's new collection release coming up, she had me she had given me the important task of creating the fashion pieces. I had started, but I haven't gotten past the rough sketch stage yet. I dig my hands in my bag, pulling out my sketchbook, and open it to the most recent page and pick up where I left off. Right when I place my pencil on my page, the buzz emanates through the room. Oh my gosh, I get to read. <gasps> yeah. Nublet, are you in yet? Oh, so I'm picturing this like the scene from like Cromilla. Alright, Cruella, that's it. 
Of like how mean her oh my that bitch's God, yes. boss is. <laughs> yes. I hear Velvet's sick accent through the speaker of the, f of the phone on my desk. Before I can even open my mouth to answer, she continues. Well, you better be. Listen, darling, I need the collection by tomorrow morning, got it? Though, if you have them ready now, you can stop by my office. Damn, it sounds like Velvet's in the recording booth with me now. <laughs> 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 my eyes widened a bit at her words and I quickly pressed the button on the phone to speak. I'm just making some last details, but I assure you, everything will be done by the morning. Uh-huh. Hun, I'm not looking for it to just be done. I'm looking for it to be done perfectly. Her voice plays to me with her usual unamused tone. And they will be. I'll, I've never disappointed you, have I? I asked with a slight, with slight confidence, hoping that she'd give me that. There was a brief pause before I got a reply. Hmm. You haven't, but there's still time. I actually... She paused mid-sentence as I hear her yelling something inaudible on the other side of the line. I assume that she must be scolding some co-workers again. Her voice finally returned as she speaks as if nothing happened. Anyway, that's all. I'll see you tomorrow, darling. Bye bye At my office... At, at, wait, at... Fuck. <laughs> at that, my office was silent again as I sit still in my chair, thinking about how I was going to possibly get this done in time. I glanced out at the simple sketch of my notebook and feel the sudden urge to make this project my best yet. Velvet hadn't exactly given me any reassuring words, but I didn't expect her to anyway. I know I'm good at what I do. Velvet wouldn't have given me a big job if she didn't see... If she didn't see the silver of talent ahead of a sliver. Or it could be silver. It's both. <laughs> I have silver <laughs> and a sliver. <laughs> I picked up my pen when I got to work. <laughs> that is... I don't know why, but that is just the worst sentence that's ever been forged, ever. I have both a silver and a sliver in me. <laughs> I, there, are two, there are two wolves inside of me. One is a piece of silver, the other one is a sliver. <laughs> I don't know what I am. <laughs> Brother... Brother... Uh. The alarm on my phone goes off and my eyes instantly open. I set up a breathly and glance at my phone, noticing the time, which appeared to be 6 a.m. I rub my eyes a bit and I turn my head to look at the six in the six outfits displayed on the mannequins. In the short span of 14 hours or so, I somehow was able to get everything done and not have the pieces look like shit. In fact, the designs look gorgeous. Or maybe I'm too sleep deprived to think other. Yeah, we're like, man, these look great. And we bring the velvet. She's like, what the fuck is this? And they're like, just random patterns stitched together because of our sleep depravity. <laughs> yeah, it's like that one audio that's like, brother, we've been knowing how to draw. <laughs> <laughs> Beatboxing puppy. Huh? <laughs> 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 My procrastination will definitely be the end of me, but at least I got the job done. I feel a strong desire to lean back in my chair and let sleep clean my body again, but I know there's no time for that. I stand up, stretch a bit before walking over to the mannequin and carefully sliding the clothes off. I fold them and separate, and separate the six into two boxes, picking them up with my hands before leaving my office. As I make my... Executing... Excruciating! Excruciating! <laughs> awesome! I get, awesome! I did it. <laughs> Walked in yeah, well office. Done. <laughs> Anxiety and worry bubble within me. I can already imagine the possible reaction she could, she would have towards seeing my designs. But I tried to ignore those negative thoughts. Upon reaching the door, I gave a small, nervous breath before knocking on it. A few moments later, I received a reply. Come in. At those words, I open the door with one hand and hold tightly onto the boxes with another. I step inside her large office and close the door behind me. <laughs> ah, Nublet, so good to see you, dear. I heard her voice, though I couldn't see past the giant boxes in my hands. I cautiously walked forward and, and placed them down the table. Morning. Here's the finished designs, I say, my voice showing clear uncertainty. She gives me a glance, and then her attention towards the boxes. Show me what you've come up with. I watch as she hops up on- She hops up to sit on her desk, and 
crossing one leg over the other. Oh my god, so girl boss. <laughs> <laughs> She's serving cotton right now. <laughs> I nod and take each <laughs> clothing piece out of the boxes, hanging them individually on the clothing racks in the corner of the room. I roll the rack over in front of her and hold up the outfits one by one while giving a small exclamation on my thought process. Uh, since you informed me that you wanted some darker complexion with this collection, I wanted to use a similar color scheme for all the all the pieces. Uh, I, I placed the black dress with red and embroideries. Fuck yeah! Embroideries on the rack and hold up a different <laughs> outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Although the colors are similar, I wanted to create more diverse styles. As you can see, people with different different tastes have have something different to be interested in. Velvet's expression remained neutral, as if listening intently to my every word. I held the last outfit to, to her to see, now feeling myself sweat at her silence. Uh, what are your thoughts? I asked. Uh, apprehensively. What's going <laughs> <So unfriendly. coughs> Before pulling the curtain, the, 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 fuck, the hanger back on the rack. <laughs> I get You're like, oh my god, that's the best word ever, and then you, you mistake hanger for curtain. <laughs> I'm great. <laughs> You're amazing, Phoenix. Yeah, I'm girl bossing my way through this entire thing. I fear you ate. <laughs> yeah, I actually am eating. I have chocolate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I hope, uh, she didn't answer immediately, which gives my nerves, which made my nerves heighten in a crazy amount. However, uh, when she finally speaks, her words catch me with surprise. You know, I wasn't expecting much from you, but I like it. She uncrosses her legs and stands up. I'm impressed, honestly. Didn't think you'd come up with anything this good. Thanks, Velvet. I, I love you. <laughs> 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 you know what? Velvet X Reader, that's the one we need now. <laughs> <laughs> we read a couple of lines in Velvet and you're like, you know what, I want to be with this woman now. <laughs> it's something about a woman bullying you sometimes. You're like, yes, that, that's exactly what I need. <laughs> I, I think that's just you. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no way in Lego. Lego likes, uh, likes uh, Velvet. Yeah, but does Lego like being bullied into um, submission, Phoenix? Yeah, I, don't I think know. that's. I don't cool. ask that thing. <laughs> yeah, I just I DM think... them later. I'm like, hey, I just need your thoughts. Uh... <laughs> I need your thoughts on being dominated by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, then they're like, oh, what happened to hi, hello? <laughs> hello. <laughs> I feel my eyebrows rise, almost in disbelief as I listen to her compliment, although it was obviously backhanded. Oh wow, thank you so much. She waved her hand a bit. Don't thank me, give yourself some credit, darling. Man, it's just like Velvet's in the room with us right now. <laughs> 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 she walks over to the clothing rack and drags it to the side of the wall. It's not often someone can impress me, you know. But, oh, these are just perfect. I smile a little bit, now feeling so relieved from, at her compliments. Velvet is not one to say much as a good job to anyone, so when she tells me my designs are perfect, I am overjoyed. Her voice snaps me back out of my thoughts. Tomorrow, you're coming with me to my meeting. I blink a couple times at her sentence. I never attended one of Velvet's meetings, nor have I accepted to ever be invited to one. For whatever reason, she's bringing me now. I know well enough that this is huge. Still, I can't help but wonder why. Is there a reason you want me there? If you don't mind me asking, of course. She shrugs a bit, still observing the clothing rack a few feet away from me. I want to show you and your designs off to my partners. I never miss the chance to rub my success in their faces. Damn. She, I can imagine her at their little, like, little get-together. She's just like, oh, look at this shit! I, this is... <laughs> I, this is my sole contract and she did amazing work and you guys suck. <laughs> Here I <am>. losers. <laughs> yeah, get your shit together, boys. I'm fucking girl bossing my way through this. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. Yeah. That's Velvet. That's her motto. 
I think about what she says for a moment and nod. It's a little funny how she wants me to come along to brag about me, but I'm not complaining. Uh, where do you need me to be, and what time? He finally turns to face me again. Here, at 8am. Got it? One fucking two hours? Bitch! <laughs> I not I know right away. Y yeah, yes, of, of course, got it. I speak, still in some shock about what is happening. She gives me a satisfied smile. Perfect. She walks back over to her desk and sits down. Oh, and feel free to take the rest of the day off. I look at her in surprise, a bit closer now. Are, are you sure? I could take care of anything else. No, bitch, you say, you say, <laughs> yes, thank you, and you run out of there. <laughs> if someone offers you a free day off of your work, you're like, and you're like, um, actually, I kind of want to stay. You are, you've lost aura. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> not the aura check. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you lost, like, minus 3,000 aura because of that. Yeah. Oh, shit, what was I thinking? It was like, uh, like, you, you clock in for your hourly shift, and you're like, man, I don't want to be here, but I really need the money, rent's coming up, and then they're like, does anyone want to leave early today? And you, like, sprint towards your manager as fast as possible. Yeah, like, you've got your hand raised like a little school kid, and you're like, me, 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 me! Yeah. Like, please! <laughs> That's me, I'll totally! My life is, is yours! <laughs> She rolled her eyes, placing her elbows on the desk, resting her chin in her palms, and she gives me the same smile. I'm sure, hun. I've just got to get your little designs on my models and post them. And nod once more. Okay, then, thank you, ma'am! And then, like, sprint <laughs> with a flash. <laughs> she hums in response. Don't be late tomorrow, eight sharp. Oh, thank I really thought it was like, yep, in two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, bitch, we didn't even get to sleep. <laughs> I'm real. I won't. I'll be in your office before then, I say in response. Velvet's expression changed into... Within an instant... In, in, wait. Velvet's expression changed within an instant into a bored one as she whips out her phone. Good. Now run along. As I exit the building, I couldn't help but feel an intense amount of excitement. I just hope that this collection would be a success as Velvet expects it to be. If it gets a lot of sales, I'll get a promotion or something. Or maybe she'll even trust me to do more important projects in the future. This meeting tomorrow could be a big one for me. Oh, trust me, Nublet. It's gonna be a big one for you. <laughs> Nublet, you don't know what's coming. Yeah. Hey, honey, you got a big storm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, honey, take a chance. <laughs> For the first time in years, there's an odd feeling of hope inside me. Things could actually turn around good. And then we, like, get there, and Vox is like, I need to hire this bitch. <laughs> and now we're even more workload and more stressed, and we're, like, more depressed than we've ever been in our life. <laughs> it's like the opposite the, happened. Like, he's like, what's your name? And they're like, Nublet. And he's like, spectacular, give me 14 of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do, do you want to know what's in it? No, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, chapter two, which is just called Two. <laughs> the Adventures of Nublet. <laughs> the, chapter two, The Adventures and the Wonderful Sights of Nublet. Yeah, Nublet's my favorite character. I'm going as him as, uh, at a convention. <laughs> it's just like a giant <laughs> thumb from like... <laughs> from from with the, with Spy Kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the hand from Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nublet. <laughs> <laughs> that is literally canon nublet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wake up much earlier than I normally do today. For one, I'm too overwhelmed to sleep. I also want to take some extra time to make myself appear a bit more presentable. I don't know who else will be showing up to this meeting since Volva only referred to the demons who were coming as her partners. However, I assume that it, that she may have meant the other Vs. Or maybe just some demons working in the fashion industry as well. I guess I won't know until I get there. I get changed into one of my usual work outfits. As for my shoes, I wear my usual lace-up boots. 
they, they are a bit worn out because of how often I wear them. Unfortunately, I'm not exactly in a financial position to buy new ones. I sigh, walking into my bathroom to touch up my hair and put on a little makeup. When I figure this is the best it's going to get, I leave my apartment with my work bag over my shoulder. The walk to work was uneventful but extremely nerve-wracking. I know I must be overthinking this, but I can't help it. The last thing I want to do is make myself seem like a fool in front of Velvet's colleagues. As I stand... As, as, oh, uh, <laughs> as I, <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> the sentence is disgusting me. <laughs> as I step up to the building, I stop for a moment and glance down at my phone. It's 7.46. At least being late is one less thing to worry about. I hesitate before walking inside. Once I get to Velvet's office, I knock on the door. A few moments later, the door opens, revealing Velvet. I notice her hair tied into two braids today, a style that suits her pretty well, if I'm honest. If there's something about Velvet, is that she's always changing up her hairstyle. She smiles brightly upon seeing me and takes me by the arm as if I were her best friend, pulling me inside her office. There you are! I almost thought you'd slept in or something, she says with a laugh, closing the door behind her. I take a quick look around the room, letting out a small sigh, seeing if, seeing that it is otherwise empty. Uh, do you want to read Nublet's parts? Yeah, I'm going to be the best Nublet ever. <laughs> yeah. But, oh, fuck, I already forgot. <laughs> do I just say that, like, the just the, the quotations or the whole thing? Uh, the quotations, okay. I think. Oh no, I made sure to set a bunch of alarms to make sure I didn't miss this. She walks me over to the long desk and turns to me, placing her hands on both of my shoulders. Oh dear, you've got nothing to be so worried about. All you have to do is just sit and listen, okay? I know you're not good at socialising. Oh thanks, Velvet. I <laughs> Godspeed, my friend. <laughs> I know you're a bit of a freak, so you can sit there. Yeah, I'm like, oh, how did you know that? And like, Velvet's just like, look at you. <laughs> It's like, it's like that one audio is like, how did you know? It's like, look at this, and it's got son of a bitch! Yeah. <laughs> I nod at her words, feeling a bit better until I process her last sentence. Was that supposed to be an insult? Because it sure sounded like one. Before I can say a thing, she does. Oh, and the pics I took last night of your designs were stunning. Wish I could say the same for some of the models wearing them, but that's beside the point. <laughs> With her hands still around mine, she set me down on a chair in the corner of the room. The fashion show to promote the collection will be a week from today. As long as those tailors get off their lazy asses and start working, the collection should be available to the public on that day as well. I nod, processing all of the words and information she's telling me. It seems she's not wasting any time in having this collection released. Okay, that's great. That's awesome. <laughs> Glad to be here. <laughs> Awesome sauce! <laughs> Velvet crosses her arms and grins again. Sure is. She takes out her phone and glances down at it, her playful mood changing within a split second. It's five past eight. Where are all those fucking idiots? As if on cue, the door- <laughs> Wait, what were you saying? <laughs> Me when- when Heisen shows up late to things. <laughs> Where the fuck are these idiots? <laughs> Heisen. Heisen, when I catch you, Heisen. I'm Heisen's number one op. Trust. <laughs> You know what's funny? They don't watch any of these fucking things, so they're never gonna be able to see any of your threats. <laughs> Aww. I don't want- I will- I will personally clip this and send it to them. Okay, can or you- Or someone like, else can do that. <laughs> yeah, personally send the message of me being like, Heisen, asleep with one eye open. <laughs> As if on cue, the door opens loudly and my head spins in that direction to see who it is. My eyes widen a bit, recognising the tall man at the door to be Valentino. <coughs> a pretty famous... <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> please tell me you throw up in his face, Nublet. That would be pretty badass. Nublet, please! You're in my life, it's yours! <laughs> Nublet! Make the brother uh sound in Valentino's face and my life is yours! Uh, I lost my place. <laughs> oh, 
A pretty infamous overlord. I must have been correct in assuming that this meeting would be with the Vs. I feel myself swallow hard as Valentino takes a seat at the table. Velvet walks over to him and crosses her arms, a look of anger plastered on her face. Is it so much to ask to have you come on time for once? Valentino leans back against his chair with a relaxed grin. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to read Valentino so you don't have to? No, it's okay. I'll do okay. it. Oh, thank God. I didn't Relax. want to. <laughs> Relax, babe. I'm here now, aren't I? It was a long night at the studio, you know. I can't... I can tell you all about it. She scoffs in response. Do me a favor and zip it. A mere second later, there's a blue zap that emits from the security's camera at the Ooh. top of the room. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix. Tux, tux, <laughs> tux hair behind ear with my nublet. <laughs> Phoenix, it is a blue zap. Relax. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Continue. And I noticed the last V, who we have been waiting for to start the meeting. I quickly recognize him as well by his TV <laughs> screen. Dark colored city. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to read. <laughs> I've never seen him in person, though I've heard so much about him and his enterprise, Vox Tech. He strolls over to take a seat across from Valentino. Velvet's eyes narrow as she now stands between the two other overlords. Had better things to do? Vox glances up at her with a plain expression, but quickly replaces it with a more relaxed one. Of course not, Velvet. I was just finishing something important. She yeah, rolls her eyes. Sorry. <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> I tell you what, go, go in time out. No, you won't be able to hear me if I go in there. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. That's the point. Bitch. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear your, uh, your barking, Phoenix. I wasn't barking. <laughs> yeah, you're about to. No. <laughs> Yeah! I would never snoop so low. Okay, well, don't bark. She rolls her eyes at his words, clearly not buying them. You bullshit me. The press held me up for a moment, that's all. He explains with some exasperation in his tone. They were pestering me with questions about a new product. Valentino sits up a bit and tilts his head with interest. So, what did you tell them? What they wanted to hear, of course, but I have plans to develop something soon. Vox answers with a small grin on his lips. While Valentino laughs a bit, Velvet speaks up. Of course you did. Why am I even surprised? It's customer satisfaction, dear, Vox states nonchalantly. Velvet puts a hand on her hip. Fine, whatever. Anyway, as you know, I have some new things I need you to promote. I watch as she walks over to the clothing rack with my designs and drags it over to the desk. Are these better than the last ones? Those were... Mm, a little tacky, no offence. Valentino raises an eyebrow. They were shit. He <laughs> states shamelessly. <laughs> I thought for a Velvet. second he was saying that our designs are shit and I was, I was a little sad. <laughs> with like the big ass eyes like looking up like with so much sadness <laughs> that one emoji is sitting at the computer with the big the big frown that we use in the discord <laughs> yeah that's how i felt right there i was like damn you call my design shit he thinks i'm terrible <laughs> i'm never working in hollywood again <laughs> <laughs> Velvet glares daggers at him, but doesn't necessarily disagree with either of them. The bitch who designed those was fired, obviously. Oh, thank god, I, I thought that was us. <laughs> yeah, obviously, uh, you were a bit freaked out that your man was dissing you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, find, I find my face contorting in discomfort now that she said that. I'm basically about to witness their authentic reactions to my designs which could very well end up being the same reactions they had to the previous ones. All I can do is sit in my corner in a little ball of sweat as I wait anxiously. That's me, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they hate it and they just execute us in the in, in the office right then and there. 
<laughs> yeah, Valentino's got money shot and he's just like aiming at a forehead. Yeah, he's like, just tell me when. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say the word and I'll shoot, babe. <laughs> She takes each hanger off the rack, laying the outfits on the table for them to see. But these are much better. See? I feel my breath catch in my throat as I await for their reactions. Oh, wow. Indeed they are, Valentino says, leaning in to admire what's in front of him. Vox leans his head forward a bit too, his brows raising as he examines the clothes. A pleased grin forms on Velvet's face. I know, they're perfect. Valentino tilts his head up at her curiously. Did you make these yourself? She shakes her head. Oh no, I found some. I found just what I was looking for, though. Then she spins to face me and raises her hand to just me over. Come here, darling. They don't bite. I well, would beg to differ. <laughs> I beg to differ. Valentino licks. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him bite, and I want that shit ten feet away from me. <laughs> Minimum. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina raises a brow and grins, seeming to seeming ready to make a certain comment before Velvet sends him a death stare. He takes the hint and keeps quiet. Yeah, you better bit. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Don't you dare make comments about Nublet. <laughs> Nublet's shy and sensitive and it's just a little guy. You can't be mean to Nublet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Has she been there this whole time? Fox lets out a laugh. As I stand beside Velvet, I feel one of my eyes almost twitch as I hear his insensitive words. Oh, don't be pissy, she scoffs, but then turns her attention to me. This is Nublet, my latest obsession. <laughs> I'm obsessed with my Nublets too, Velvet. <laughs> 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 So, you made these? Valentino looks at me, pointing his finger down at the clothes with a oh. finger. Oh! Uh, 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 Dude, I just- re I forgot about that! I did replace the word finger with nublet, so it just says he pointed his nublet! <laughs> it doesn't unbuck because I didn't replace it. Dude, I for I was like, what the fuck? Why does it say nublet here? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta go back and read yeah, the line. I'm gonna screenshot this. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> new line, new line. So, yeah. you made the... Valentino looks at me, pointing his nublet down at the clothes with the nubbler. <laughs> <laughs> I had a small exhale before answering. Yeah, yes, I, I did. did. Oh, wait. Oh, it's you that needs to say that. I, yeah. I forgot. Yep, I, I did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you did that. Just pretend I wasn't there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ignore me, guys. Sorry, I became British for a second. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, they had auto-tune on, so... <laughs> They're very exquisite, just like yourself, my dear. He responds mm. with a tone, smooth like silk. If you're interested, I have just the job for you. <laughs> Shoot him. <laughs> Get the bug spray. <laughs> Shut your bitches. <laughs> My face contorted again, this time into one of pure disgust. Before I can even politely decline, Velvet intervenes. Nope, nah, -uh, she's mine. Sorry, not sorry. She narrows her eyes and crosses her arms. I don't mind her speaking for me. It's not like I was considering his offer anyway. Valentino shrugs disappointedly. So much lost potential. Why exactly did you call us here? To brag a bit, I'm guessing. Vox looks at her, unamused. Uh, yeah. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, bragging right? <laughs> that, and so you can promote the collection. Velvet responds with a smile. Valentino stands now, allowing me to see his full height from a closer point of view. With pleasure, I'll have my actors wear some of them, he says, walking towards the door now. I've got to get going now, but send what you want over to my studio. Velvet rolls her eyes and waves him off. Yeah, whatever, just go. <coughs> I watch as Valentino exits the office, and I turn back to face the other two. That was a fast meeting. Now you, she points at Vox, who stands from his seat. I'm trusting you'll do this too, right? She raises a brow almost threateningly. 
Vox chuckles a bit and walks around to the table to stand in front of Velvet. Oh, don't worry. I'll have some ads made right away. She smiles sarcastically. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to do so. Anytime, he responds smugly. Then Velvet turns to me. Go be a dear and check on the tailors for me. Make sure they're actually getting shit done. I nod to her words. I thought you said you nub to her words, and I was like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> nub I nub. <laughs> I'll do that right away, I, I, I say. <laughs> Before leaving her office to go do as she asked of me. As I exit the room, I feel my body temperature slowly lowering as I realize how much I was sweating. Being in a room with three overlords is not something that happens every day. Overall, things could have gone so much worse, that's for sure. I'm just thanking Satan that they liked what I made. I enter the main hall where I see all of the tailors and seamstresses hard at work. Relief washes over me. I'm thankful that I don't have to deal with any problems. I turn around, ready to head back to my office when I bump into somebody. I quickly take a step back and look up. My eyes widen, mm -hmm. see... Oh, Phoenix, I'm not even at his name yet. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> Seeing Vox in front of me with his hands folded behind him. You're lying. Mm. I was <laughs> drinking to get myself to stop barking. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know you were there, the blushing, Tuck's hair, I'm here. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, that's not in the script. <laughs> it was an apology. <laughs> I apologize abruptly, mentally cursing myself for not paying more attention. He looks at me with a small, confident smile on his face. No need to apologize. I step to the side, ready to walk away from this embarrassing interaction before he stops me with his voice. Hold on. Nublet, was it? <laughs> As he's- <laughs> These poor names. <laughs> As he speaks, I turn to face him again, a bit confused. Yes. Oh wait, no, that's you. Yeah, that is right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Did you need anything? <laughs> Actually, yes, he speaks in a matter-of-fact tone. More of a proposition I have for you. Yes. Sorry, what was the proposition? <laughs> <laughs> His words intrigue me. And now I look at him a bit more curious. What do you mean? He rolls his eyes at my question as if the answer is obvious. I want you to work under me. The Vox Tech Enterprise. You've heard of it, I'm sure. He speaks rather arrogantly, which ticks me off. I really work for Velvet. <laughs> Sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> it's just like this long pause, and I'm like looking to the side, like like tapping my nublet on, on the desk, <laughs> waiting for you to read it. Someone tap nubble on the desk, it hurts her. <laughs> <laughs> I answer simply. I know he's well aware that I work for Velvet, yet he still asked me to work for him. Even after she made it clear to him and Valentino that I was working for her alone. All that leads me to question what his thought process even was. I know that I know that which is why I will only require you to work minimally, he speaks, his arms still behind his back. I design clothes, dog. <laughs> I thought my <laughs> design technology. <laughs> Dog, listen here, G Dog. I don't want none of your shit. <laughs> we sell bread, we sell loaves. <laughs> <laughs> I state my words expressing my obvious confusion about his offer. He sighs as if annoyed by my words. <laughs> yes, it does, but you know, there are designers for the sets of my television shows. And frankly, I just fired the set designer for my news broadcast and need a new one. I nod a bit. Now it's done. Phoenix. <laughs> Sorry. 
I nod a bit, now understanding him more, yet still questioning this proposition of his. Aren't there more qualified designers for that? I only say that because my experience is in the fashion industry? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but I think you'd be more than capable of such a simple task. Your work speaks for itself, and I'm sure you're a quick learner. He speaks. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not <laughs> into the naughty corner now. Okay. He I'm speaks. <laughs> Can you do it quiet? Okay. <laughs> he speaks, seeming to downplay the requirements of the jobs he's offering. I think for a moment before responding. I'm sorry, I'm very busy with my current job already. <laughs> you would only need to come in a couple of a, a couple of days a week for a few hours. I rarely change the set of my broadcasts, he explains. I nod again to his words, but my decision remains unchanged. Another question pops into my mind as I raise a brow. Did Velvet agree to this? <laughs> he doesn't answer my question immediately, then lets out a single laugh. Of course not, but what she doesn't know won't kill her, will it? I furrow my brows together at his words. Uh, <laughs> she's my boss. I'm sorry, but I'm not going against her. He sighs, with a bit more frustrated with my insistent declining. Fine, I suppose I could find someone else. I feel a bit relieved that he's dropped the subject now. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, good luck! <laughs> <laughs> I say politely before turning around, walking no more than a few steps before his voice stops me from going any further. Although, I'm sure it'd pay double what you make in your current job, I hear him say. I freeze in my tracks, now convinced he knew exactly how to change my mind. I turn to face him, processing his words for a good minute before speaking hesitantly. How much? <laughs> <laughs> I, this is, that, is a yes. I I would say yes. I would say yes in a heartbeat. I, I think before I no one yeah. <laughs> I tell, if a TV came up to me and asked me to design clothes for his television shows, I'd, I'd actually just like walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me if this man came up to you? <laughs> You would yes. say no? <laughs> yes, I would. Wow, that's crazy. He's ugly, Phoenix. No, he's not! <laughs> There's a, several he's... people online that would disagree with you on that statement. <laughs> he's just a TV with, a, like, an expression plastered on his face. He's not that good looking. The I... only thing that does this is his voice. I feel insulted. <laughs> As you should be. Huh, like, you think... Seen... <laughs> Listen, let me, have, let me have my TV men over here. Leave them alone. No, because now you're involving me in the TV <laughs> men. You can't expect me to get involved in the TV men and not be insulting about it. I'm just saying. Well, anyway, I get to read now, so you don't even get to stop me from, from reading the, the spicy old me getting weird. Alright, chapter three. Well, you know what? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to leave and I'm just going to let you do your thing. Damn. What if Velvet shows up? <laughs> well, you're gonna have to put on your very British, very, very good British accent, Phoenix. Yeah. I'm gonna get a hate mail <laughs> for, for all yeah. the British people. <laughs> a day has passed since I agreed to work for Vox now as, as well. He, in fact, agreed to pay me double what Velvet was paying me. As long as she didn't find out I took the job from Vox, I'll live. Since I showed her my collection, she decided to give me more days off. While they... Maybe days off for my fashion designer career. Those will become days that I work at Vox Tech. Of course, I realize that this doesn't give me much time to myself. But if I work hard now, I may be able to have enough money so I can work less in the future. So, now, on my day off, I enter the V's headquarters like normal. Except I enter a different floor of the building. The floor design, The floor designated for Vox Tech. I step out of the elevator feeling a little lost. I turn my head around a bit. I've never been here before since this is never. There has never been a reason for me to be here. And now that there is, I find myself standing still like a hopeless puppy waiting for guidance. 
the fuck are you doing here? We're about to go live! Uh, oh, I hear an angry voice behind me. I turn around to see a demon looking at me with an annoying glare. I glance to the side, noticing the camera crew setting up and everything. Oh shit, sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> Get out of here before I call security. He weighs me off. Damn, everyone's so nice around here. Everyone's so charming. <laughs> yeah, this is the most welcoming I've ever felt at a, at a company in my entire life. <laughs> yeah, for real. My, my brows froze a bit, incredibly pissed off at his dismissive attitude and at the fact that he's not even letting me explain. Before I say anything, a familiar voice does not said, Do you have a problem with our new employee- Oh my god, is this Fox? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I swirl my head to the side, noticing- Yeah, it's Fox. Noticing Fox had appeared with a stern expression on his face. Employee, the demon, the, the, so, the so-called Cliff appears to be completely ob oblivious to the news. Oh, no, boss, not at all. Fox gaze narrows as he steps towards the demon. This is your second strike, you know. You're this close to making me lose my shit. He holds his thumb and index <laughs> nubble up. <laughs> <laughs> Part to emphasize his words. I look back over to Cliff, who seems to be turning red by now. It won't happen again, sir. Good. Vox speaks in a flat tone. Now go. Demon quickly leaves, going off to do whatever his job is. I face Vox fully, a little caught off guard, but a sudden uh, occurrence. Occurrence! Awesome, I did it. Well done. <laughs> you did it! Yay. <laughs> I win. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> My sincerest apologies, Nublet. I, I got some incompetent staff, as you can see. He remarks with a laugh. I laugh a little awkwardly along. Right, I, I don't... Hold that thought, he interrupts, turning his attention to the set, which I in recently... Which I was recently informed that they're about to go live with. I got a quick broadcast to cover. Stay here. No, you know what? Yes, sir. <laughs> I will stay right here. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry. It's free neck. <laughs> I said I was sorry. But you keep on doing it. It's like stabbing someone and going sorry and then doing it again. Dude, I would never do that. <laughs> That's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before I can even acknowledge his words, he turns his back to me and goes over to the desk to, s to sit down beside another demon. I... Can't help but to feel a bit insulted and bitter because of his attitude, but ignored it. I leaned against the wall beside me and watched the broadcast unfold. It didn't take long as I felt much but it felt much longer than it was. The whole thing was just Fox interviewing that demon, who I never heard of my entire life about his new book, Long Days Longer Sex. The plot made no sense for the record. <laughs> <laughs> By the time the broadcast ended, Vox stood up and talked to some of the crew for a few minutes. They watched, growing more impatient by the second, as he chatted up about some damn, chatted up a damn storm with them. He finally approached me with an irrit, irrit, irritating, irritating <laughs> grin to his face. Aren't you a fan of the book? He asked, certainly mocking, as he. As you must notice my unamused expression. It's not my taste, I, re I replied plainly. He gives a small chuckle and speaks. Ah, well, thank you for being so patient. You can follow me, he says, starting, starting down the hall, expecting me to follow. I fight the urge to roll my eyes as I follow behind him. So, is there a specific set design you're looking for? Is there something I could look at for reference? When should I... <laughs> Whoa, slow down there, firecracker. He, he cuts me off with another laugh at his joke. I'm glad you're so eager to start, but how about you just give me a second? Damn, bitch! <laughs> whoa, whoa, he's a bit sassy. Yeah, you no know one. <laughs> Mary. No, no, no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? 
I'm cutting you off before you can even say it. Every time you go, you know what? Just stop right there. <laughs> you know what? Smash. <laughs> nah. -uh. <laughs> what do you mean, nah? It's my Smash tier list, and that he's on the top. Yeah, and I have to be here to witness you. <laughs> I grew up a bit embarrassed, realizing that I may have asked too much. Uh, of course. Sorry. Yeah. Nubble it. <laughs> get in your place, nubbler. Come on. <laughs> yeah, get doing? one. <laughs> <laughs> well, first, I'm looking for a, a theme along the lines of my old set. Nothing over the top. You'll find plenty of references on our website. Damn. We gotta- you can't even, like, give me a portfolio or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, give me the skinny lowdown or something. Yeah, at least give me- just give me, like, three keywords that would describe your old set. And don't worry, I'll make it golden. <laughs> <laughs> just for you, my queen. <laughs> He explains while still leading me through the floor. And you can start right away. I need a design by tonight. Do you think you can handle that? It'll be no problem. I'll have it finished no later than six. I assured it. Why are we lying? <laughs> Real. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he smells condescendingly. Yeah, I can say words. Mm. Um, not quite. <laughs> oh, contently. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. This is the confidence. You're like, yeah, I can say words. We just read the complete wrong word. I trust you'll meet our expectations. If not, I guess I'll have to look for yet another set designer. He chuckles aloud. I press my lips together, not finding his joke very funny. Soon, he stops in front of the door and turns to me. Here's your office. Now, before you get started, I just need you to sign this. <laughs> Is, is it a soul contract? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, I take it from him and read the bolded word that says contract. I barely read over the first line when he speaks again. It's not it's not anything serious, just a little agreement, he states, holding out a pen for me. D bro, you need to read this shit! <laughs> you fucking You idiot. really do need to read this. I Nubble it, you stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah, this is how she got her soul taken from Velvet. <laughs> For real? Yeah. I hesitantly take it from him, feeling rushed as I write my signature at the line. After I do, the paper vanishes along with the pen. He grins. Since that's settled, any questions? Yeah, I just have one. What did I just sign? <laughs> <laughs> do you... Yeah, one, actually. Do you know if... You'll figure it out. Have fun. He, he brushes my words off, interrupting me before walking right past me. Can I at least get a... a <laughs> like a, a copy of that contract? Can I get a leg up in this hoe? <laughs> <laughs> I almost call out to him and stop myself. Wow, this guy's a huge dick. <laughs> and you, why did you add the huge in that? <laughs> Phoenix. I'm sorry. <laughs> why are you <laughs> unconsciously I, adding I, I couldn't stop myself. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> For my own safety, I don't care about the viewers anymore. Just let me go. <laughs> let me out. Let me out. <laughs> let me out of the basement, please. No, you stay there with the marketable plushies I have. Oh. I let out a, a sigh and open the door to my new office. It's small and roughly the same size as my office for Velvet, just a floor down. There, it was like right below, like the. Like his on his is on the fourth floor and our like Velvet is on the fifth floor, just literally <laughs> on the floor <laughs> apart. That's um cliche. Yeah. I enter the room and switch on the light, closing the door behind me. I sit down behind the desk and log on to the computer. We have a login? Awesome, I didn't know that. Time to find these references that <laughs> Vox mentioned. <laughs> I searched the official website of Vox Tech and browsed around a bit. After watching some videos and looking at some pictures, I began to s to get a small sense of the kind of set Vox prefers. I I reached f I reached to grab a piece of paper and place it on the desk in front of me. Picking up the pencil, I tap against the desk for a minute before getting an idea. With my vision in <sighs> engraved in my mind, I began to sketch. <laughs> Asterix, asterix, asterix. <laughs> 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 
my my pencil leaves the paper and I lean back to study it a bit. I brush away some eraser bits and hold it up. It's not bad for my first time designing a scent, but is it good enough for Vox's standards? God knows what his standards even are. I put the paper on my desk and crack my neck a little. Then we, yeah, we crack it and just and we just die. <laughs> we we die. Style. <laughs> yeah, we just do the Family Guy death pose and we're like, well. Yeah, like he comes in to check and we're on the floor like that. He's like, ah, oh, shit, another one did it again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, here we go again. My eyes drift off the clock and I read 4.30. At least I have some time to prepare. A spare. <laughs> 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 shut up. <laughs> I, I wouldn't shut up if you didn't tell me to shut up. <laughs> I stand up. Decided to roam around in the meantime. If I'm going to be working here for a while, I, which I assume I might be, I might as well get familiar with the place. I leave my office, closing the door behind me as I walk around the floor. Demons from all over the place, rushing to get things done and meet deadlines. I'm sure I already... All right. I'm sure. I also noticed the abundance of technology filling the open rooms, which I can't say is too surprising. Advertisements play loudly on some TVs, which shows, which shows play on others. I stop in front of one TV and watch as one of the ads played out. Presented by Voxest. Trust us with your dental care. My brows frown at the screen. Is this fucking real? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to turn away and suddenly I feel compelled to keep watching as if I'm completely caught in a trance. Hell yeah. <laughs> Phoenix! <laughs> Throw no. the commercial and I can't look away. And suddenly, someone suddenly grabs onto my shoulder and spins me around. I blink my eyes a couple of times in confusion as if, as if what just happened and, my, and face whoever just touched me. It was a girl significantly taller than me. And she got sh short red hair. Are you an idiot? Everyone here knows not to look at- look directly at it. I tilt my head a bit confused at her words before realizing she was referring to the TV. Wait, is that why it was kinda hip- hypnosing me or something? <laughs> Hypnotizing- Hypnose like the Pokemon? Hypnose <laughs> 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 like the Pokemon Phoenix! <laughs> I don't want to hear another word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dolby. Shut up. <laughs> she nods, taking her hands off my shoulders. You're new, aren't you? What's your job? I'm a set designer, I reply. Her facial expression changes to one of concern. Oh, damn. You know, Vox never keeps the same one around for so long, too long, right? I hear her words and my brow raises a bit, clearly being, clearly having been unaware of that small detail. Seriously? She nods. Yeah, I mean it. She pauses for a minute, seeming to think of how to say her next words. The last girl who worked on the set design got fired within a week. She was so sweet, too. She shakes her head disappointedly. Do you know why she was fired? I, I ask my question curi curiously. She looks at me with sympathy. No one knows. She wasn't bad at a, it. Wasn't, she wasn't bad at the job at all. We don't think Vox just got bored. The girl thinks for a moment before continuing. It's been around six or seven designers within the last year. I don't know, it's been crazy. I nod at her words, now learning something new. Was Vox planning on hiring me and then firing me within the next week? Because I didn't just risk my job for Vela to lose it, to end up losing this. Thank you for letting me know. She smiles brightly. No problem. Before she leaves, she says one more thing to me. Remember, don't look at the TVs. And then walks away. I left standing there alone at the small hallway, the sounds of the ads still reaching my ears. Trust us, it repeats. It's what a bunch of bullshit. What that girl said is true, then there's a good chance that I'm the next one to get fired. It's only been a day, too. But at least I still have my job working for Velvet, unless Fox decides to inform her that I've been secretly working for him as well. Shit. <laughs> If this is not one thing, it's another. I'm beginning to question if I have, if I made the right decision or not. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Do you see this comment? It just says Al needs that dental care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on. Al but... needs that dental care. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Referring to his yellow ass teeth. 
Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, uh, but anyway, what do you think? You got through it. Congratulations. I feel like I barely got through it, Phoenix. But I feel like I was clinging on by a thread. <laughs> but how can you be so upset about the adventures of Nublet? <laughs> Nublet wasn't the problem here. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> you were the problem. <laughs> You are the problem. You are the walking, talking, living manifestation of the problem. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll try better next time to be more of a problem. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> anyway, you ready to spin the wheel? You want you want to hope for uh, Vox or SMG34? No, I'm going to hope for anything but that, actually. Oh, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh great, here we go. Wheel of fucking death. It's, it's the rainbow wheel, bro. Happy Prime Month. The rainbow wheel. The rainbow wheel of pain, actually. Yeah. Alright, there's a lot of good options on here, including my choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, just tell me one minute and I'll press the button. Can we wait like 10 centuries? <laughs> I'm joking, we can't wait do for it now. Alright. Watch it, watch it be Vox X reader. I will kill myself. Uh, no. You're not spared. You are not spared. <laughs> Guess what we're reading, Sage. This is rigged. <laughs> yeah, I, what do you mean it's rigged? You told it's me to press rigged. the button, and I said okay, and I pressed the button. That was your fault. <laughs> There is no way we get Vox and then we get you. There is, I, I, What's wrong with me? Because you're gonna choose Vox. No, I was gonna actually pick SMG34, so you get to read no. that one. <laughs> what do you mean, no? I have a beautiful one that you're gonna love, dude. I'm gonna hyperventilate. Hey, just, just remember, you won't have to read this for like... I don't know, like three weeks. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, but then there's that impending sense of dread for three weeks that I know that with every week it gets closer. Yeah, it's like the ocarina of the, uh, the what? The ocarina of time thing where you, where the like seventy two hours remaining. <laughs> I look over to the timer and it's like you have twelve <laughs> minutes remaining. I'm like sweating and I'm looking at the window <laughs> beside me I'm like this is the better way out <laughs> it's, it's not that bad I'll, I'll, rec I'll, I'll even give you a couple so you can choose if you want what is there to choose from it's either weird man and weird man or weird man and weird man <laughs> okay I'm sorry you know Mario ripoff X Mario ripoff <laughs> I feel like you're bullying me right now, and I don't appreciate that. I am that. bullying. I, I am. I am. What if it's like out of left <laughs> field? Like I bring you on, and you're like, and you're like, oh shit, I gotta read this shit. And I'm like, today, guys, we're gonna be reading Adam X Loot, <laughs> and you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like that one audio that's like, be nice, and it's like, I'm finding it. I'm finding it. It takes you that long to find it. It does. It does. <laughs> 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 you're, you're gonna be fine. Just take deep breaths. Go, I don't know, go on vacation. <laughs> Touch I'm going to grass. be taking deep breaths. I'm gonna be taking deep breaths for three weeks. Damn. <laughs> oh, I want to die. Anyway, thank you for joining, Sage. I know you really loved it here. So great. <laughs> yeah. And, I feel uh, like my soul is on a contract, actually. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on screen is a playlist of all the other Wattpad book club readings I've done in the past, including uh, a, like the the last video I did, which I don't know what that one is. I, have, I probably haven't even edited it yet. So anyway, and then. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for thank you to Sage for joining. I know you had a ball of time. We made Nublet. <laughs> yeah, we we created a a star today. Yeah, no and we lost your... one. <laughs> you you should make Nublet one of your OCs. 
I, how am I going to just draw a walking thumb? <laughs> Dude, use the Spy Kids <laughs> movie as a reference. It's just like a severed thumb with a couple of legs walking around. No, no one I'm picturing actually. I'm picturing you like from 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 the back. It looks like a normal girl with like like long hair. She has like all the limbs intact, and she turns around and it's like a big ass finger. <laughs> I just imagine that with like the hello. Uh, that's not my neighbor style. Yeah, that that's and she just walks up to the screen, and I'm like, holy shit! And I'm like, yeah, that's my that's my ID. Can I can I get inside now? <laughs> Can I come into the out now? No, you cannot. Oh, but I can. You were just needing to take a pay the piece of wood. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, my name is Phoenix. That was Sage, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone. Sage, say bye. 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 <laughs>